What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the video today. We finally are going to be unboxing this new clickbait G Fuel flavor, taste testing it and letting you guys know what I think about it. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that G Fuel was kind enough to send me out the collector's box but it did have fulfillment issues, so it did take a few days longer to actually get here, and that's why my review is not up like on Monday. I also wanna let you guys know that Code Shock is 30% off right now. I just wanna let you guys know I'm gonna be giving away one of these collector's boxes. I've got two more on the way, so I wanna give one away and also give one away in the streams, but to win one in this video, just go ahead and comment down below where you live, what your favorite flavor is, and your Instagram and your Twitter if you have it so I can contact you. Drop a comment, thank you for dropping a like on the video as well, and let's go ahead and get on with the review. So no, ladies and gentlemen, it is not David Dobrik's flavor, okay? I don't even think it began to be his at all because G Fuel has a really big story behind this flavor to begin with, so clickbait, that is the theme of the flavor. So if you guys actually notice, around the box here, you're gonna see stuff like pomegranates, cherries, limes. I believe there's some oranges in here. Um, there are some cupcake characters, but I'm not sure. But we've got like a mango orange something going on there. Pomegranate, we got Among Us characters, we got cherries, we got some lemons, some all types of things in here. Now. The definition of this flavor is clickbait, okay? What, what this means is this is kind of a mystery flavor. They're kind of telling you what it is, but some of these fruits that you're sh they're showing might not actually be in here. Do you guys kind of get what I'm saying? So some of the fruits that are in here might not actually be in the drink itself. So maybe it's just pomegranate, maybe it's cherry pomegranate, maybe it's Maybe it's pomegranate orange. We don't know. That's the theme of it. It's called clickbait. And then I also noticed, I'm not sure what fruit that is. I, maybe it's a watermelon, but it has like a, I don't know. It has a yellow skin on the outside. So I'm not 100% sure on that one. And then if you notice right here, there's a banana as well. So this is just cluttered with tons of different fruits, ladies and gentlemen. It is just absolutely filled with so many fruits. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the taste test, I also have some products to taste to let you guys know if they, if the clickbait flavor tastes like them at all. We've got some vitamin water. This is some acai, blueberry, pomegranate, vitamin water. We've also got some straight up pomegranate juice. And then I've got this blueberry pomegranate body armor. And then I've got this drink, which I think it's just cherry, but I tried to get anything that I could find at my local store that was either pomegranate, cherry, or watermelon, or stuff like that. But these are the ones that I could find that looked like they might taste similar. So after we taste the flavor, I will go ahead and try those and compare it. Also, the collector's boxes are officially sold out. The tubs are still in. I don't know if the collector's boxes will ever restock, but the tubs are in stock and Coach Jock is 30% off if you guys decide you want to pick this up. And then we've got, we do have another fruit right here. It looks like a lemon or orange at the, right there. And then if we take a look at this side, we've got cherries, we've got a penguin, lions, a whole bunch of characters. We actually have an ice cream cone, I'm pretty sure that is. And then up here we have uh, another pomegranate. And then I'm sure there's gonna be some fruits and stuff that I do miss. Uh, so make sure to point those out below if I do miss any of the fruits, ladies and gentlemen, or anything. But we got some hearts here, pomegranates, cherries. We got a cupcake over here. We got a lock. We got some Among Us characters going on there. We got a rainbow. There's the penguin again. And then at the bottom of the box, it's just pink. Okay, so yeah, both of these sides are different. Both of these sides are different. So this is the other side that we haven't taken a look at. So this side has... Some, a sad boy character there. We got a mushroom, we got some cherry. We also have a strawberry, there we go. So all the fruits that we've seen is like an orange, banana, lemon, strawberry, cherry, pomegranate, so much. And a watermelon, just lots and lots of fruits on this box, ladies and gentlemen. But other than that, I think that's about it for the fruits. We also have the top here. 
I don't think I'm seeing any extra fruits at the, uh, at the top here. I don't think so. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and open up this clickbait collector's box. Now, what we get in here first is the clickbait shaker. Now, this shaker is one of the highest detail shakers that I have ever seen G Fuel make. I am going to try to use my 4K uh, crispy camera to help me the best that I can to show you guys this. Let's see if I can show you guys the closest that I can get here. Look at that, guys. Put this video on 4K and take a look at this. This is absolutely insane. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. So we got the G Fuel logo there, no energy formula logo, um, but we've got the turbine. We've got like this purple top, a tealish baby blue pole right there, and then we got like this baby blue insert. It, it looks like it's almost like a, it would be for a grape flavor or something, to be honest. But that is the clickbait shaker, ladies and gentlemen. So next up, we got this G Fuel Doodle sticker that comes with this, which is awesome. And then we have the clickbait tub itself, ladies and gentlemen. And you can clearly see a watermelon right there. So there are some more fruits and stuff that are on this tub compared to the collector's box itself. This tub is just insanely detailed ladies and gentlemen it is absolutely ridiculous how i don't know if we've ever had a g fuel tub this detailed with so many little things in it it is absolutely insane so that is the tub that's what it looks like guys there is the top there we've got the bottom with the expiration date if you guys want to see that of course, we've got the supplement label. Now, I don't see anything on here that is new. I'm not seeing any pomegranate extract, any gum gar, any, any interesting things that some other G Fuel flavors have. It just looks like your standard G Fuel nutrients and supplement facts. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, I spotted a full pomegranate, and then we have a cut in half pomegranate. We've got cherries right here, and then we've got that watermelon right in the middle, right here, and then we got a strawberry right there, ladies and gentlemen, and then we also have, let's, let's keep going around here. We've got that, we've got that fruit that we were talking about right here. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like it could be like a lemon or orange or something like that. That's what that looks like. Uh, but I'm not seeing any new fruits on the tub. Ladies and gentlemen, I have also spotted a YouTube logo here. There, Look at that. There's a huge... I did not see that. That's hidden really well. It looks like it's right out there, but it's hidden really well. That is a YouTube logo right there, just to confirm like the theme of the flavor. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure I missed something and you guys will point it out down below, but let's go ahead and open up this clickbait G Fuel tub. I usually always use my, use my fingernails here and then I'll just take the top off. And then we've got the top itself. Let's go ahead and take off the seal. And then the powder itself is basically a white. Okay, that smells exactly like a flavor that we already have. All right, guys, so it actually smells to me, it smells very similar to Phaseberry, but a little less potent. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this shaker up and I'll also get something clear so we can look at the liquid and let's mix up some of this clickbait G Fuel. All righty, Papa Jim, let's go, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we got the clickbait shaker ready with some water and ice. I usually like to fill it up to here with water and ice. I love ice in my G Fuel. I cannot have G Fuel without ice. We also have a clear shaker here to go ahead and show you guys what it actually looks like. But let's go ahead and start mixing this up. Okay, the scooper is actually relatively on top this time. Nice. Now, as always, I'll remind you guys that this is not a scoop. This is a scoop. So this top part is actually for water bottles. I don't have a water bottle to fun funnel this into. So I just take that off. And then what you're gonna wanna do is actually fill it right to that mark and that is one scoop. All right, so here we go guys. Let's get one scoop of this G Fuel here. Let's go ahead and put this in the shaker. There we go. 
I swear I've also smelled it before. It, it almost smells like the sour cherry powder as well. If I were to say, guys, I would say that it, so I would say that it smells, the powder, the most like uh, phase berry. And that could be because of the pomegranate coming through, but I also get an overwhelming cherry as well. I'm not really getting any watermelon from that smell or anything like that, um, but yeah, the powder is just like a cherry pomegranate kind of bitter flavor. I'm not really getting any watermelon, maybe a lemon, a citrus-ish, but not really. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are all mixed up with the clickbait G Fuel flavor. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. All right, okay, so we got like this, okay. So it is kind of a phase berry color. It's more of like a pomegranate, darker like cherry color. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and give it a smell. <sighs> what? That smells just like a flavor that I've had. And I think I'm thinking of either cherry limeade or phase berry, but it smells almost exactly like a flavor that I've already had. I think I'm smelling cherry limeade. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, clickbait G Fuel flavor. Let's go ahead, give it a taste, let you guys know what I think right away and what I taste instantly. Here we go. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. No pomegranates. I'm getting pomegranate right away. Not much cherry. I don't, I don't think I'm tasting watermelon. I know what watermelon tastes like, especially after the juice. The juice has a very strong watermelon touch to it in the beginning. I'm not getting watermelon whatsoever. No lemon at all. Uh-uh, definitely not getting lemon. I would definitely say, ladies and gentlemen, that this is, I think, a cherry pomegranate. I think all the other fruits on there are clickbait because if you look at the box, the most pronounced fruits are the ones around the text, which are the cherry and the pomegranate. I think all the other fruits, maybe they have like 1% of them in there, but I think the other fruits such as the banana, the watermelon, the lime, lemon, orange, whatever, I think all of those are clickbait and the real is cherry and pomegranate. But what I'm getting right now is like, I'm not a big cherry guy and I enjoy this. So let me make something clear here. No medicine cherry taste. I'm not getting a medicine cherry at all. I'm getting like a 70% pomegranate, a 30% cherry, but it's not a medicine cherry. It's more of a real good cherry taste because that can be an issue with a lot of flavors uh, sometimes that G Fuel has where some, they have that medicine taste, but not with this one. You're not getting that with that, with that, uh, that cherry in here. You're, it's more of a real fruit. I'm not getting a candy or a medicine. It's more of like, like I said, like a 70% pomegranate real fruit and a 30% like a real cherry. And it's not that tart either. Usually you would say pomegranate is pretty tart, but I'm not getting much tart in here to be honest with you. Like it's not as tart as the PewDiePie flavor at all or sour cherry or anything or sour phase berry. I would say it's on the same level with phase berry. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So in terms of a rating, I don't know. I'd need some more time, but as it stands right now, I'd probably give clickbait a 8.5. I don't think it gets into the nines, but I'm, I'm thinking 8.5. It's solid but it definitely needs some time for me to figure out what I'm thinking fully. But right now, probably an 8.5 out of... All right, guys, so I am going to go ahead and try four of these products that we got to compare and see if they taste anything like the clickbait flavor. So the first one that we have here is this Body Armor light drink that I found, which is a blueberry pomegranate. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this a taste. I have a feeling this... It, it, it could be close, but it also I think has coconut water, so I also think it might not be like anything close, but you never know. That's why I got it to help you guys out to see if uh, you might be like, yo, I love this body armor. Shock said it tastes like the clickbait, so I'm gonna get clickbait. So, but smell, 
It's close. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is not close, to be honest with you. That's not close. Now, next up, guys, we've got this cherry drink here. I saw this, and I was just like, let me go ahead and get it. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, here we go, lads. Let's try it. Oh. <sighs> yeah, no. I do not like that. That almost, um, that almost tastes like cough syrup. And also, guys, it was really hard to find something that was cherry pomegranate or cherry pomegranate orange or watermelon at the store. Like, they just don't, there's not many other companies that do these kinds of mixes that G Fuel's doing. So next up, we have acai blueberry pomegranate from Vitamin Water. Let's go ahead and give this a taste, guys. Hmm. The smell is pretty similar. Okay. Maybe if you added 50% more pomegranate to this and up the flavor of everything, you might be pretty close to the clickbait flavor, to be honest with you. This one is the closest so far. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we have this raw pomegranate water. Now, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to mix this with water, but I don't actually know. 100% juice. Okay, so this is 100% pomegranate juice. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and give it a go, guys. Here we go. 100% pomegranate juice. That smells really strong. Doesn't really smell like the G Fuel flavor. Oh, rather nice, rather nice, shall I say. If you lighten this up a little bit, you basically have this flavor. Add like a 10% cherry. The more I drink this, the less cherry I'm actually getting. And I'm actually quite happy about that. I really, I'm not the biggest fan of cherry, so I'm actually quite happy about that. I would say if you guys take this and light it down a little bit, you basically have the clickbait G Fuel flavor. All right, guys, so I think that's going to wrap up my unboxing, review, taste test, and comparison to some other drinks of the clickbait G Fuel flavor. Let me know what you guys think about this one down below. Are you going to skip on it? Are you going to pick it up? Let me know. And also, thank you, everybody, for watching. And I really do appreciate everybody using code SHOCK. It just insane ladies and gentlemen i really really do appreciate it and i try to show as much love as i can to everybody that uses code shock big things are coming i'm excited thank you guys for watching i will catch you in the next video drop a like turn on those notifications peace out ladies and gentlemen